Ratcliffe's in there, and the whistle's gone. It's gone to signal the end of a most pleasing match. Nottingham Forest finish up beaten on the play. That was only right. Everton had far more of the game. Played at times some luxury football, although they only had one goal to show for it, coming as early as the 14th minute from number nine there, Wayne Clark. Brian Clough's side will have learned a lot from the match, not as experienced as Everton are, of course, but two teams who reflected great credit there, it's Paul Bracewell and Graham Sharp, two teams who reflected great credit on the first division and on their own game in a match which ended Everton 1, Nottingham Forest 0. So pleasant to watch a match and start 1988 with a match of such style. It did surprise me a little bit, I think, that Brian Clough's young lads did look raw in that game and it uh, makes him a bit more of a magician that he's been able to conjure up what he has uh, with those lads. But that man himself is waiting down there talking to Bob Wilson, Brian Clough. Now, Brian, what were your thoughts about that game? Well, I thought it was an absolute cracking game, Bob. A pity there wasn't a few more goals, obviously, and a pity we didn't get one, but it was a smashing game. What were your thoughts about Everton? They did play very well, didn't they? Particularly first half. I thought they were a bit quicker to the ball than us, full of confidence, and obviously a very, very experienced side. They're a, they're a club and a team full of internationals, so you expect that type of performance from them. That's the sort of game that your young lads really need to build up their experience. Well, every single game is a bonus to us uh, regarding age-wise, and the more time we come to places like this and to Highbury and to other big grounds and good teams, the better we will become. We played extremely well second half, considering our inexperience. You said you are really very excited by this young side of yours. Oh, I couldn't be more excited. Uh, mo I think the most excited I've been for many, many years. I missed my son playing centre forward today. I missed him as a centre forward and as a son. I think we could have just shaken them. <laughs> Can anybody catch Liverpool, Brian? Well, we're going to try, despite today's 1-0 defeat. That's our second in a couple of days. But we've battled for 290 minutes. We can only get better, and we'll try and catch Liverpool. They seem to be making you younger, this young side of yours. I'm going to be around it till they grow old. <laughs> we look forward to that. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Happy Paul. New Year. Same to you, young man. Yeah. <laughs> young man. And, and so he should smile at the end of that performance, although they lost the match. But it was some match, as we all agree. Let's have a look at the best moments of it again now. Ian Wilson, challenged by Terry Wilson. Landon Howe. Pierce coming across. Ian Wilson again, Heath, Landon House still wide, Trevor Stephen, Clark's in there, oh what a great goal by Wayne Clark! In goes Clark, that's Peter Reid's short deflection, what a terrific save! Brilliant reactions by Steve Sutton! <laughs> Stephen, Clark closing! Another brilliant instinctive effort by Wayne Clark. Reed is Everton relentlessly power forward again. He's got the touch. Reed goes through. This is so exciting. Five minutes to half time. Everton one, Nottingham Forest nil. Heath with Walker. And Heath is through. Well played the keeper. He just showed enough of it to him, Adrian Heath. Reed, Heath, oh, what power in that. Chettle, Snowden, Heath, Snowden, oh, well, a lovely move. Here's Stephen. Heath, good ball by Clark. No power this time. Peter Reed. Stephen, and now Clark, blue shirts going right and left, making angles all the time, Vanden Howe, Wilson, and now it's Reed. the shot's on. But, by brilliant, brilliant football by Everton. And Watson, and Clark, and Heath. Red. Out again to Fleming, 
just now perhaps here for Forrest Starbuck.